the session off with a quote that captures the day. Um, it's always a difficult debate among us. There are always so many great quotes that accompany survey results, and again, you'll see them throughout the day. But we try to pick out one that really says, okay, this is what we're trying to get accomplished here. This is the essence of what the audience wants to talk about. So we start with that quote here. This is what you said in response to the question when asked about the biggest challenge you face when working with millennials, you said, remembering that everyone doesn't have the same drive and that money and winning is not always their motivator. Remembering that everyone doesn't have the same drive and that money and winning is not always their motivator. Okay. Nobody would be in this room you would have made it this far, managing A-level stores, B-level stores, being ready to move to that next step in your career if you didn't have drive. Everybody in here has a sense of drive that is far above average, you wouldn't be sitting in the room. And to be quite honest with you, there's probably one commonality among all of our different jobs, whether it's HR or management or training or whatever it is, there's one commonality among everybody in this group and it's probably drive. The highest common denominator is the drive to succeed in this room. Now, there are generational differences we're going to talk about today, but nobody is going to stand up here and say that you need to forego drive or you need to excuse a lack of drive. The first message of the day is drive is not a generational characteristic. Drive is a personal characteristic. There are members of every generation that have drive and members of every generation that do not have drive. You probably have friends and colleagues in your life that don't have any drive, and they're of your generation, okay? G drive is a personal issue, not a generational issue. However, the key in what we're gonna talk a lot about today is while the drive is generational, the fuel that feeds the drive is generational. The fuel changes from generation to generation, even if drive doesn't change. And let me just dig in a little bit. I'm going to show you another quote. This one's not from you. This one's from them. We've done thousands and thousands of surveys and led by our PhD, our brilliant PhD student over there who's doing more of millennials, interviews and surveys of millennials all over the country. So the other thing you're going to see a lot of today is what they said, what millennials have said on the same subject. So I'll offer this as a contrast to you. When asked about what a manager can do to motivate them, the response was, the most important thing is having a manager who empowers you to get the job done as you see fit. Now, I want to take this piece right here. I want to take this line, and I want to divide it. See where it says the most important thing. The most important thing, take that out. If I took that piece of the sentence out, and the sentence is just having a manager who empowers you to get the job done as you see fit. Who in here agrees that they'd like to have a manager who empowers you to get the job done as you see fit? Everybody. That, that ain't generational either. What's generational and what is acute to the fuel is the first part of the sentence. The most important thing. The most important thing to them to this person is having a manager who empowers him to get the job done. Go we'll back a slide. Your fuel, and I'm going to categorize ourselves a little bit today. I'm an Xer myself. There's some Xers in the room. Xers, as a generalization, are fueled by money and winning. So our drive is fueled by the finish line. See, if we drive toward a finish line and we get the results of that finish line, being money and winning, then we're automatically driven to run the next race. If I win and I get money, if, I, if, I, if I'm driven and I get money and winning at the end of the race, I'm going to be driven to run the next race. Xers are driven by the results. Millennials are driven by the process. They are driven by the support during the race. Their drive, their fuel, is that constant empowerment that happens during the race. They need support during more than we need support during, and we're affected by the finish line more than they are. So the point you're going to see throughout the day, I'm going to turn it over to Adam. 